High Consulting Hotkey Series. Building dynamic business models is only half of our firm's approach to helping your company operate efficiently and effectively. The other half is our educational series to help you and your colleagues become better acquainted with the most powerful tool in business, Excel. In this lesson, we will learn to perform specific procedures in Excel without using the mouse. As we go through this lesson, we will expand our AFC analysis example we used in the previous hotkey lessons. Before we start, I would like to point out that each hotkey we discuss will be in a green box on the top of the screen. A plus sign means you press the combination of keys simultaneously, whereas a comma means you hit the keys individually in the given order. The first group of hotkeys are traditionally found under File in the menu bar. For those of us working with Excel 2007, Microsoft put these procedures in the Office button. We are currently in the AFC ranking file. Before we make any more changes to this file, I want to save a backup. I recommend you always create a backup folder and save down a copy of your workbooks on a consistent basis. If I press F12, Excel will prompt the Save As operation. I select the backup folder and then change the name of the file to reflect today's date. We are currently in the backup version of the AFC Ranking Workbook. I want to open up my authoritative version, so I hit Control o the hotkey to open a file. Then I can select the original file and hit Enter. Three weeks of our NFL season has been completed, so we're going to do a simple analysis in a different workbook. To create that workbook, we can hit Control n this is the hotkey to automatically create a default workbook. Now we need to save our new file, so we hit Control s This prompts a save procedure. I'm going to name this file AFC Analysis. The backup file I created is still open. Let's close that by hitting the following key combination. Alt, F is in Frank, C is in Cat. Notice my notation at commas between the Alt, F, and C. This means you don't need to hold any keys down. Press them as slow as you'd like, just in that order. If we wanted to close all open workbooks, we could hit Alt F4. This is also the hotkey to close any application in Windows. But in this case, we hit Alt FC to close the active workbook. Finally, we can prompt Excel to print the active worksheet with the hotkey Control P. The basic action hotkeys are commonly used throughout the entire Microsoft Office suite, including Word, Outlook, and PowerPoint. We briefly saw these basic actions performed in the first lesson, Movement Hotkeys. Starting in the upper left hand corner of this data region, I'm going to hold down the Control and Shift key, then hit the down arrow. Keeping my left hand on the Control and Shift key, I hit the right arrow. Now I have the data region selected, I hit Control C to copy. Then moving over here, I hit Control V to paste. If I wanted to space out these three columns, I can easily highlight each one, hit Control X, and then paste in the new area. Two other popular action hotkeys are Control Z and Control Y. Control Z allows you to undo the last action. Control Y allows you to redo the last action. These two are great when you want to quickly toggle between two different formats. Next, we're going to work with entire columns and rows. Suppose I wanted to bold an entire column. I can do that by going to any cell in that column and hitting Control Spacebar. Then I hit my Format hotkey, Control B. We can do the same thing with rows by hitting the Shift Spacebar hotkey. Beyond formatting, Highlighting entire rows and columns allows us to quickly add and delete rows and columns to our worksheet. If we want to add a column between G and H, I select any cell in column H, hit Control Spacebar to select the whole column, and then I hit Control plus sign. This adds a column. If I wanted to delete this column, I simply press Control minus sign. Excel has a multitude of hotkeys that are not covered in this lesson but here are a list of some other useful actions. If you're ever looking for something specific in a worksheet, use the Control F hotkey. This works with most applications in Windows. In Excel, we have the computer search the active worksheet for all the occurrences. For example, if I search Chiefs, we can hit the Find Next button to go to each occurrence. 
We can also exit from this procedure anytime by pressing the escape key. To have Excel find and replace a word, I use the hotkey Control H. Let's say I want to replace the word Chiefs with the word Champions. I hit Control H, find what? Chiefs, since I just searched for that, and replace with Champions. Then I hit Alt A to replace all and escape to exit this procedure. To quickly copy from adjacent cells, we can use Control D to fill down, in other words, copy the cell immediately above, or we can use Control R to fill right. Then we have the accountant's favorite hotkey, the auto sum. This is done by pressing the Alt key and the equal sign key at the same time. The equal sign key is directly to the left of the backspace button at the top of your keyboard. This hotkey will input the adjacent section of cells into a sum formula. This works on vertical and horizontal sections, but be careful that the selection doesn't include any numeric headers such as years. If the selection Excel chooses is not what you intended, you can automatically use the arrow keys to select the correct region. Perhaps you don't have much of a need for the auto sum hotkey. What are some different procedures that you select from the menu bar on a consistent basis? Whether you're running Microsoft Excel 2003 or 2007, if you hit Alt, it will prompt the menu bar. Excel then displays a hotkey letter to hit for each section in every level of the menu bar thereafter. Start using Alt to select items from the menu bar. You'll soon discover a combination of keys that will dramatically improve your efficiency. Learning these hotkeys will take time and practice. To help you become more efficient, download one of our free tests to time yourself. When you go back to work, try and incorporate these hotkeys. And don't start using them all the first day. It's going to take time. Start with the hotkey that's most applicable to your business. Trust me, once you realize the efficiencies, you'll begin to incorporate the other hotkeys at a much faster pace. If you've not done so already, check out the other hotkey lessons and tests. Contact me if you have any questions about this lesson or are interested in Excel training for your employees. Thank you for your time and consideration.